Hello YouTube, this is Keith Kevin Ken. How you doing? How you doing? I hope you're doing well. This is a rare thing, right? Two videos in one day, and that's because I was so disappointed I didn't get my new Spydacos yesterday. That when I came home from work on this Friday, I, I couldn't do anything until I got up a video for you with new Spydacos. By the way, this morning I did a brand new video for uh, a new purchase that I had from Browse Blade Knives. But I just picked up four brand new Spydacos. And so I figured, usually I just do Monday through Friday, but I figured I'd throw this one in for you, okay? This, my friends, is the brand new Spydaco Amalgam. A-M-A-L-G-A-M, -A -A Amalgam, a new flipper from Spydeco. Finally! <laughs> we can expect more knives coming from Spydeco in the weeks, I hope, months. Um, but this is the new Spydeco Amalgam flipper. And it is another Spydeco compression lock flipper. And it's a big mother. But man, it feels nice. So let's talk about the Spydeco Amalgam. By the way, Spydeco just released their 2019 catalog. It's in digital form, so go to Spydeco.com and, and download it. They're trying something new. Um, I think I wasn't the only one frustrated by so many knives not being available. Their new way of doing it starting with the 2019 catalog is they're putting in the catalog of course all the older knives available but they also are putting in the knives that they know they will be releasing very soon there's a bunch of them in there and most of them are from last year's catalog and my guess is then when the mid year catalog comes we'll see the other ones for instance in this catalog the new catalog, I did not see any sprint runs. Even the ones that have been in other catalogs and mid-term catalogs. I can't wait for the new Copa, etc. So, I think they're going to try different marketing ways, they said. So, they may announce, you know, hey, we've got new sprint runs. I don't know what they're going to do, but I'm excited. I hope it works because the frustration of seeing all these new knives and not knowing when they're released is pretty frustrating. But in this catalog, we got a lot of knives that we've been waiting for, so hopefully they'll all come out. So let's talk about the knife that is in my hand. Again, I got four new knives from Spydeco, two brand new Spydeco knives that never before were released, and two different versions from distributors okay distributor exclusives so you'll be seeing those as we go into uh the beginning of next week i said this is a bigger knife i this thing flips great that was me it flips wonderful i think in one of my reviews i talked about the fact that spydeco has really released a lot of flippers with the compression lock i love the compression lock flippers with compression locks i still the jury for me is still out the only problem i love the compression lock i you know the blade is very nice it just falls down it's smooth of course the lock is strong but after you press that the flipper comes through and hits your finger. Now, I've seen someone in reviewing this knife say, you know, you get used to it. It's a pain. Well, I have several of these. And by the way, you can get used to anything. You really can. But I don't know. <laughs> I just hate that it keeps hitting me. Other than that, it this is me. That was me again. It flips like a dream using washers. It's just really a real nice flipper. 
Now, of course, that blade is a big blade. It's 3.8 inches, 3.8 inches. It has a nice forward choil all on the blade. And some people tell me that <laughs> you need that too when you're sharpening. Uh, but so you can really get up on it. Full flat ground blade. It's S30V steel. A real nice jimping right here. I really like when Spydeco puts the spidey hole with a lower profile and not as a hump. You know, there are a few of those knives with the hump that actually look pretty funky. And I like it, funky in a good way, <laughs> because of the design. But a lot of times, it gets in the way when it's in the pocket. And also, I just think it looks cleaner when it's down like this. Just a real nice knife. 3.8 inches, 3.4 inches, because of that forward choil, is edge. Just a really nice package. Big, full flat ground blade. It slices real nice. Comes, of course, very, very sharp. It's 4.3 ounces. So you have this big blade, eight point, this big knife, 8.9 inches total. A 3.8 inch blade. And it feels really nice. In the hand it really does 4.3 ounces but for a big knife like this it's, it's nice see-through construction easy to clean with that compression lock it has carbon fiber on top of g10 but it feels nice but it isn't pure um, carbon fiber but this on top of g10 to me is a real nice kind of texture. It just seems to fit nice with this knife. It does have embedded liners, stainless steel liners. They are heavily skeletonized to keep the weight down. The clip is the regular clip and it's a four-way clip. Left, right, tip up, tip down, and a little eeny beeny lanyard hole. <laughs> this my friends is a real nice flipper look at it just fall yes the only reason it stopped falling is it hit my finger <laughs> really nice everything about this is spydeco quality my friends, this is a brand new Spydeco. It's called the Spydeco Amalgam. It's a flipper, S30V steel, 3.8 inch blade, 4.3 ounces, drop point. And I wanna give you a comparison. So here's the military, as you know, a big knife. And you can see it's about that size of the military. And here's a paramilitary two to give you a good size comparison. Can you see that? It's a nice size. It fits great in the pocket. Let me just tell you something. They did something. It's a small thing that you wouldn't even notice. The clip, how it's angled, makes this long knife fit great in the back of your pocket it just fits real nice they did a great job as usual um i'm really liking this knife the only reason i've missed some flips that you've seen me is not the knife it flips like a gym it's me it's me there you had it didn't want you guys to go to bed i could not go to bed without <laughs> giving you what i promised a new Spydeco today. So I have three more new Spydecos. We'll probably pick up on Monday. Um, I hope you enjoy this. I hope people can see this because usually I don't do two in a day. That's why you should subscribe and turn on your notifications because no matter when I put up a video, you'll know when. 
I really appreciate you guys. I really do. You have a perfect day. Keep those pockets full. I'll see you with more new Spyderco soon. Goodbye.